Oh, oh, oh. 
views and opinions expressed by the host do not necessarily reflect that of the Psychological Association of the Philippines and its management. Furthermore, the views and opinions expressed by the guests do not necessarily reflect that of the host, the show, and the organization. FAIR uses the copyright regulation that allows the limited use of copyrighted materials without acquiring permission from the right holders for comment and educational purposes. Views, articles, and images on this episode may contain copyrighted material which has not always been specifically authorized by the copyright owner. This is being broadcasted to the Teaching Psychology Special Interest Group social media platforms when available. If you have any questions for our guests, simply comment on this video and we will try to accommodate all your inquiries. Note that after this broadcast, we may no longer be able to answer your questions. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Live from the Philippines, Dr. Ver Reyes and Professor Monique Muyargas, Chairperson and Co-Chairperson of the Teaching Psychology SIG. Parang ang lakas naman masyado ng mga palakpa. <laughs> Thank so, you! Good afternoon! Good afternoon, everyone! Good afternoon. Hello, Philippines! Hello, world! Ay, hello! Hello, hello, Philippines! So, kamusta naman ang pagiging GCQ natin sa Metro Manila? Oh, yeah! Say, Congratulations! MGCQ! Hindi, ah! Oh. Ah, talaga ba? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ay, hindi ko na alam kung anong nangyayari. So welcome, every, yes, welcome everyone. We have a, a very good show for today. Show talaga. No, we yeah. have a very good online um, um, show nga for today, for this episode. Uh, meron tayong mga nanggagaling from uh, Santa Teresa College. Oh, good afternoon daw from, uh, to everyone. Meron din tayo from... Uh, Edwin, good afternoon, watching from Taguig City. So later on, siguro kung gusto nilang magpa-shout out, may pa-shout out, just comment on the, on this video. We're being uh, streamed live on Facebook, on our Facebook page, as well as on our YouTube. Um, siguro nakikita nila yan later on, mm-hmm. dito sa ating sa pinakababa. So, Monika, ano ba yung mga gagawin natin for today? Well, it's, well, entirely, it's entirely different way. from the one we had last time because we have guests. Um, at saka, chikahan lang, di ba? Uh, it's about uh, I.O. psychology, how to teach I.O. psychology in the context of uh, remote learning or distance education. Right. Okay, very good. So, may mga bagay lang tayo na gustong i-disclaimer daw kasi mm-hmm. parang some of our our, um, our speakers, our guests, uh, they would say na parang hindi kami expert in teaching um, online ha. Parang yeah. these are just our, some of our thoughts, some of our ideas. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think naman that there are actually experts at this moment. no yes. There are experts in distance education but perhaps not in the different, in all disciplines. And this is one way of contributing ng, ng organization natin to help out uh, faculty members in the Philippines particularly. Paano ba natin ituturo itong, itong mga um, courses, particularly board exam uh, course to, no, Monique? Kasi yes. Uh, paano, sana, hello pa PRC, ganyan. <laughs> <laughs> kasi, kasi, di ba, extraordinary yung time ngayon. So, mm-hmm. yung mga yung mga dapat na natututunan nila let's say uh, yung required niche is 54 uh, ano ba to 54 uh, hours contact hours mm-hmm. so, so yeah. very diminished yon ngayon and then syempre iba yung setup na meron tayo so yung mga guests natin for this episode and for some episodes no in the future um, mm-hmm. they would say na hindi kami expert uh, sa pagtuturo nito but these are some of our thoughts based on our experience itong nakaraang SEM and how we think uh, based on what our institutions have taught us, uh, how we can move forward. No? At yeah. hindi rin natin discount Monique, no, yung mm-hmm. klamo or syempre, 
Uh, again, when we talk about remote learning and teaching, uh, for sure, may mga disadvantage tayong mga students no, who might not be able to accommodate. So, ito yung mga dapat na konteksto na tinitignan natin. Paano ba natin siya ituturo online or offline while still maintaining um, the provisions and what AITF um, what AITF has been uh, recommending no, para sa atin. Okay, so meron tayo from Santo Tomas City, Batangas. Meron Hello. tayo from Tarlac Agricultural okay. University. Meron din tayong, ano pa ba? Kabanatuan, o bongga. Thank you, thank you, Ben. And meron din tayo from Bulacan. Okay. So, shout out daw <laughs> sa Sabug <laughs> City University Psychology Department. Hello, Hello po, lahat. sa inyo lahat. Magandang magandang hapon. Meron din tayo from the University of Makati. Oh, ang dami. In fair. Sana mm-hmm. sinishare niyo po ito sa, ano, no? <laughs> sa mga pages niyo. Yeah. Um, also from Ordeneta City. Uh, meron tayong, ano, may mga Chinese friends tayo. Hindi, joke lang. Hindi ko alam. Si Paula, nandito din siya. Uh, at meron din tayo, syempre, from, uh, ano ba tawag Kazan yun? City. Yes. Oo. So, without further ado, siguro, no, uh, Monique, pakilala mo na yung ating mga, okay. uh, mga guests. But before that, um, kung ready na po kayo at, uh, um, Ready na tayong makinig? Okay. Uh, i-introduce na po natin. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay. So we have three guests for this afternoon. And uh, the first one, uh, let me introduce to you. She is currently working on her doctoral dissertation in leadership studies major in organizational development in the same, in uh, Ateneo de Manila University. Um, she's a lecturer of the psychology department of Ateneo de Manila University, teaching both in the undergraduate and the graduate programs for the past 16 years. She's also a consultant of the Ateneo Center for Organization Research and Development, or uh, commonly known as CORD, uh, facilitating workshops on human resource management and organization development. She is a licensed psychologist, certified professional coach, and Gallup Strengths Coach. That is welcome, Miss Emily Ann or Mian Lombos. Hi. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Hello, hello. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Okay. So, ang, ang isang guest natin is also from the Ateneo de Manila University. Uh, uh, particularly, actually, she she got her her masters and uh, recently her PhD in Ateneo de Manila University. Congratulations! Um, she is currently the associate director for research and development of Ateneo Center for Organization Research and Development, um, and also a lecturer of the, of the Department of Psychology. Um, and she placed seventh in the 2016 PRC licensure examination for psychologists. Please help me welcome Dr. Jamie Feliz Caringal Go. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Okay. And of course, our last but not the least, definitely. Uh, he was an, a manager for over 10 years in various institutions such as KFC Philippines, Glory Jeans Coffee, and Seattle's Best Coffee, where he focused on business management and talent development. He also worked as marketing officer for uh, Kenny Rogers Roasters and as a cluster manager for Netopia under the EPLDT group. His researches on leadership, culture, and industrial psychology have been published in local and international journals. And moreover, he is a bona fide member and peer reviewer in various uh, Philippine and inter- international associations as uh, the International Leadership Association, Administrative Science Association of Canada, and the Psychological Association of the Philippines, where it, he is the current chair of the IO Psychology Division. And he is a licensed psychometrician and, uh, well, poging pogi. 
Poging Poging Chair ng I.O. Please help me welcome uh, Mr. Emerald J. Ilyak. Hello, magandang hapo. Magandang hapo. Hello, intro ha. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maba ba yung intro? So, hi everyone. Hello, Hello, Aaron. Aaron. Hello, Bert. Hello. Hi, nandito pala si Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. Hello. Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Phyllis. Oo, nandito pala sila sa kabilang side. So, thank you everyone. Thank you for... Um, guesting in our show, guesting in our show. So thank you for this partnership. Um, I know that IO Psychology has been, uh, IO Psychology Division has also been helping out uh, different organizations no? manage uh, several issues, particularly with employees, no? with, uh, sa, lalo na with this, with this pandemic. No? So before we start off, kamusta naman kayo? Um, yun, teaching during the second sem. Ano ba yung mga pinagagagawa ninyo? Sige, let's start with sino mong gustong mauna? F- ah, sige, ah, sige. Please. <laughs> sino ba? Please, hand pala ba? Please, hand. Me? Okay. Um, second sem. Actually, I think a lot of people, um, syempre, were surprised. Um, everything was so abrupt. Everything was so sudden, no? Um, and we had to immediately shift to a, a different form of learning, a different form of teaching that we weren't used to. So me, I'm feeling and I was overwhelmed a little bit. Um, I was anxious about how to still be effective given those sudden changes. No? And um, honestly, I had some difficulty because my entire training or my entire experience with teaching has always been that face-to-face in classroom. I like that kind of rapport, getting to ask them, see them, diba? Um, and walang ganun eh, parang at least um, in our first experiences, walang ganun. So um, I also was uncertain about how effective I was as a teacher. So yun, that was my experience with the whole yeah. sudden, I know. And that's uh, and that's a very good insight because I'm sure a lot of teachers experience the same thing. Um, we all experience the same thing, no? Uh, it's not just one or two people. Uh, lahat tayo naging shock, na shock, at saka we had a chance to parang oh my gosh, uh, evaluate. Kaya ko ba to? Parang ganon, no? So uh, that's that's a very good insight. How about ano, Mian? Oh, in in my case, it was very challenging because you you, you don't you don't get immediate feedback from the students, and then there's a the challenge also of connectivity. And then some students would come to me na hindi sila makafocus kasi sila rin nag-adjust sa bahay and dami na yare. So it's um just being available for them and then um trying to have the exercises. Hindi kami hindi kami magka on time on the same time line kasi iba sa kanya yeah. iba connection so it was using um the internet using email using google classroom to to share the exercises and then they would email it back to me kaya lang medyo challenging kasi meron ibang students na hindi talaga ako maka-reach out or else yung iba sa kanila dahil iba-iba yung situation nila um hindi talaga sila maka-connect sa akin during ano parang isang letter isang email lang tapos hindi na sila makapag-participate sa class so it's very challenging for both the teacher and the student Mm-hmm. At, and again, no, um, just like what we talked about last episode, na ano, um, students also have their own reality realities apart from our own personal realities during that time when it was immediately na, uh, everything changed. How about the uh, Herald? It was ano, it was kakaiba. It was a totally different experience. Um, kasi parang hindi mo inaasahan na syempre mangyayari, di ba? Na magkakaroon ng national, global pandemic. And we were so used to earthquake drills, sanay na sanay tayo pag may drill sa baha, di ba? Pero si Sino naman magsabing maghanda kayo for a pandemic, right? I mean, it's a, it's a totally different scenario. And if we were talking about we were all preparing for the fourth industrial revolution na lahat technology driven lahat mapipilitan na gumamit ng artificial intelligence biglang si isang iglap we were pushed through and coerced into that situation na uh, mm-hmm. no choice kailangan yung mag-online no choice kailangan yung talagang gamitin ang web mag-webinars kayo or or mag-zoom kayo or mag-hangouts kayo diba so and 
from the teacher's perspective, it was difficult kasi hindi mo alam, naputol ka, hindi mo alam kung paano ka mag-a-adjust. Um, mm-hmm. I hear other academics as well, academicians, so parang nagsasabi rin na ang hirap magturo kasi black yung screen mo. Hindi mo nakikita yung mukha ng mga tao. So wala ka nakikita ng non-verbal reaction. Mm-hmm. So, parang dagdag ka na ng dagdag, sigurado na naririnig ba nila ako? Nakikinggan pa talaga nila ako? So sometimes, mm-hmm. So it's a two layer of anxiety as well from the teacher's end na parang am I being productive? Am I still efficient in terms of teaching? Yes. At the same time, yung studyante, hindi mo rin sigurado mag-adjust. How do I adjust at this point? Kamusta ang grades ko? Lalo kung grade conscious ako, paano na yung grades ko? Paano na yung, yung scores ko? Diba? Paano kung I'm running for honors? Ano mangyayari sa akin? So it was a really, really difficult time. Yeah, yeah. if I might clarify. Ah, uh, yes po, yes. Yes, Sorry, yes. I, I guess I just wanted to add to what you're saying. Okay, go ahead, um, please. No, while all of that was happening, parang really figuring out how's the best way to teach this, how am I going to get through to my students, this is in the context of, you know, a pandemic, diba? So we also were balancing this with, are we asking for too much? Parang, are the, are yes. the students also okay, diba? So parang, Having to balance that was part of the challenge. Mm-hmm. True, true. Having to balance um, that with, yeah. uh, ginagawa ko ba yung trabaho ko? Kasi yes. Kasi yung administration din. Yes. Kailangan gawin mo yung trabaho mo kasi binabayaran ka to do this, eh, di ba? So yeah. parang, parang you were sometimes put in the middle na you have to consider ito yung ginagawa ng mga bata pero meron din pressure from the administration na you have to mm-hmm. do your perform and optimally. Okay. And, and also what was being said a while ago that this is a licensure course. So parang the question, yeah. do they know what they need to know exactly. in order for them to, ano, exactly. to be prepared for that? And, and the schools are very competitive with the rankings and the passing rate. <laughs> diba? so kailangan mo talagang, you really have to put your best foot forward and all of a sudden, we're put into this situation. Were any of you prepared? Like we're like trained on uh, distance learning? Or distance education at all? Me not at shaking all. her head. Not at all. Yeah, <laughs> not, 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 not at all. Formally, not at all. Or, yeah. for example, siguro baka hindi naman distance learning, but I, I assume that, like in Ateneo, you would be giving out, let's say, handouts to do uh, using technology, no? Yeah. Pero mm-hmm. not necessarily. Parang, it's a supplement, tama ba? I don't, I don't know. True, yeah. Better. Kung supplementary yeah. lang siya rather than um, well-deliberate design na dapat ito talaga yung gawin. Uh, yeah. um, parang, any... parang may moments na pwede mong gamitin, let's say, ang free teacher. Go ahead, I got it. Parang mag-uhi with the rules that ang was in. So, talking about a big classroom of 30 students, That's diba right. usapan? Parang walang training talaga at that point. Yeah. That's right. So, um, did you have to reconfigure or change your course outline or your syllabus um, during that time? Like, nung tumigil ang lahat? Tumigil ang mundo? <laughs> Sir Errol. <laughs> <laughs> anyone, anyone. I, I, I think it's... Like... Ay, parang hindi niya tatay na rin. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Sige, Did any of you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, um, we still we, we were still committed to delivering the topics, being able to share the material with the students. So, in terms of syllabus, we um, the topics were still covered, uh, were shared with the students. However, the challenge that we had were um, giving of examinations because, as yeah. Felice mentioned earlier, it's balancing the needs and the situation of the students. Some have don't don't have access online and can't take the exam so it's that's where we had to um think of alternatives like exercises if they can send it at a different time uh at a set or certain deadline so that at least we can measure that they learn something from the topic so those were the um, challenges but in terms of syllabus content we still shared with the students okay how about Errol? were you teaching then during the second sem Parang steady ata si Errol. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were uh, on <laughs> Parang wala namang changes eh. We, we, we didn't delivery change yung in terms of content. Kasi, I, I guess, it was an... Uh, 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 kasi it was an, parang siyang knee-jerk reaction na parang, oy, kailangan yung magturo online. 
So um, parang wala masyadong planning na nangyari, wala masyadong ano bang tamang step? Ano ba dapat gawin? Parang walang nangyaring court discussion na gano'n. So we were just trust to the idea na oh, sige, best options available. O, mag-zoom muna tayo. Mag-zoom mag- Facebook Messenger, video calls tayo, di ba? So and, it was really clear to you guys. We just had to continue Sorry. delivering. <laughs> okay. So k- natapos yeah. mo talaga yung content. Kasi most teachers, some teachers that sacrifice, oh, eh, hanggang dito na lang, I, I know of some teachers eh, 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 na tumigil na talaga sila hanggang doon lang yung coverage nila. I'm sure uh, some of our viewers have experienced that who are, who, in their own schools. no? So you had to finish everything. Um, we didn't deliver them in the same way that we did the earlier topics, mm-hmm. right? So there was no... Um, zero towards the end, wala nang video, wala nang parang face-to-face contact about it. But we made sure that we shared the information that we had. So the slides, for example, um, were shared with the students. Because um, I guess that's part of what they needed to learn for the semester. So um, a lot of it was hinging on their own motivation arin, and their own time um, to be able to get through those materials. Okay. So, siguro maganda din Monique no, na i-point out dito yung independent study kasi kung mm-hmm. medyo tatamad-tamad kang estudyante, di ba medyo lugi ka kasi wala ka nang matatanungan ngayon, wala kang makokopya ka. No? So parang the need to, di ba, and, and this is the goal naman of higher education talaga, di ba, for college. To independent for learning. Yes, independent learning with, with or self-directed uh, learning, parang ganon. Oo, na minimize yung direction. And I think yun din yung mga isa sa mga concepts natin na para teachers as not just the source of of information, no, but rather a more a facilitative yung role, no, na ginagawa ng ng faculty. However, hindi lahat right. kasi ganon, no, hindi naman lahat ng students natin. Uh, uh-huh. Yes. So how do you how do you do how do you, how are you how do you um, facilitate that kind of of self directed learning or uh, independent learning as students new during uh, the last part of your uh, classes? Um, in in my case, um, I gave them the materials and then they had exercises that they had to submit at a certain time frame. There were some students who would request if they could make adjustments because access to or late late access to the material so there's that flexibility and then i made myself available for uh, online consultation or via email so there's some students who still email their questions and then i reply to them although it's a bit challenging because it's written communication as compared to face to face and yes. straight conversation sure. this one it's like sure. to reply to a, a one page question like a series <laughs> of questions it would take me half a day to reply to a student so major sure. challenging shy in terms of communication mm-hmm. how about felice um how the question is how you manage the self direct yes. student yes. the student's motivation mm-hmm. um I'm not sure if I had any conscious strategies. I think it was the same with Mami Ann. I think it was the same with Mami Ann, parang just answering, definitely parang responding if any of them had any queries. Um, I tried at some point to ask discussion questions just in case anyone was there to, and wanted to be engaged in these discussions. Um, mm-hmm. I do think, though, that last semester, parang because everyone was medyo nangangapapa, di ba? Na, yes. It was more flexible. Yeah. It was more parang okay, forgiving in a way. Right. Um, but moving forward, since this is going to be the way, at least for the first semester, at least for intercession, then um, I think the students will really need to be more um, what do you call it, self-directed. Given that all their classes are going to be like this, and you know, we are restructuring our classes um, so that so that my engagement sila. Errol, go. Yeah. Actually, yun yung mahirap sa industrial site na ituro kasi it's one of the yeah. na automatically na next world of work, di ba? Uh-huh. So yes. kung yung estudyante, for instance, wala akong balak mag-HR, wala akong balak mag-trabaho, mm-hmm. gusto ko mag-medicine, wala talaga silang interest at all. So mahirap sa pila po pang nawala yung face-to-face mm-hmm. interaction naging distance learning patuloy siya. Kaya mas mahirap na masiguradong motivated pa ba talaga silang magbasa. So I guess the same thing with me and Phyllis. It's really trying to be available for 
the students if my questions consultation so there was really dedicated time for for students to actually make us a bit to see that we're available na pwedeng kausapin at any kung may questions Mm-hmm. May iba, dumediretso mismo kahit sila mag-isa magme-message na, Sir, I am, I'm curious about this. How do I apply this in my own organization, in school? Mm-hmm. Parang, you know, and that's how they find the link. And, and sometimes, you just have to be there. Kasi more often than not, ka, hindi mo masisigurado kapag ka yung estudyante talaga ready-ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ibigay mo yung PDF, ibigay mo yung reading, hindi natin sigurado, babasahin ba talaga? Mm-hmm. Hindi sigurado. Mm-hmm. Really, really need to have your assessment points, your your checkups, your your, your quiz. If you want to do exercises, that would really, really help. Um, but it works well if the students are really interested. And that's the problem now with IELTS like, to a certain extent. Since it's an applied science, kapag wala talaga silang interest at all, wala talaga. Oh. Sige. So, before we move forward, no, we would just like to remind our viewers to, if you have questions and you feel that you'd like to ask our panelists, our guests, comment on this video para we can um, show it later on and then siguro para they can also answer. Sige. Yeah. So, would you... Yeah, um, I would just like to springboard from what uh, Errol mentioned earlier, no? Na kailangan talagang applied. Uh, kasi that's what's unique about I.O. Uh, meron siyang ibang uh, feels sa isudyante. What do you think are like the topics that are like parang sa inyo nahihirapan kayo? Kasi before, tinuturo nyo siya in a way na kailangan may face-to-face. At ngayon, eto na yung platform. Paano? Ano yung mga topics sa I.O. na some teachers might you know, um, uh, have future difficulties, and now if you have inputs or uh, uh, experiences about it, um, you can share it. It can help them. Siguro <laughs> ano? <laughs> Siguro ano? <laughs> if you wanted to teach, how many? How many usually ban na topics? Your general topics. So, kung yeah. eighteen weeks pa mga eighteen topics, ganon ba mga? Malati mo na ispa parang parang around el ten ten eleven chapters parang ten eleven chapters oh yeah, chapters, yeah. Okay. Uh, so if you were to choose let's say five chapters lang the feeling yo oh kung ano si Felix o the ano ka pa seven ko compress ka so kung meron kang Kasi pwede niya mang dikit-dikit yung iba eh, di ba? Correct. Right, naman. right. So kung meron ka, let's say, iha-half natin siya, ano yung first Uh-oh. three or five that we would like? Yeah. yeah. Non-negotiable. Yeah. Non-negotiable. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Perhaps I can answer that because psychology at work to, no? So mm-hmm. it's the people dimension side of managing people in the workplace. I, I can cluster it into four areas. The first area would be... Um, uh, acquiring people, so that's part of your attraction, recruitment, selection yeah. part, and that would include also developing people. So once you get them, how do you develop them? And then once you develop them, so what are the theories behind that? And then after you 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 develop them, you train them, you also have to motivate them at high levels of performance. So that's managing their performance. That would include also productive behaviors, um, also uh, labor relations, and then the, the the fourth cluster would be maintaining them in the organization which would be retention engagement keeping them in the organization mm, right and right. underlying that is also knowing the background and the history of industrial psychology how how it has evolved so that we build on on already what's there and uh, link it to our current situation so how do they see all these concepts happening in their community or any work organization even their school organization I'm sorry, but we think of the first so the first would be acquiring uh people. people. Getting acquiring people, people in the organization. Okay. okay. Yeah. The second so that's part of your recruitment. The second would be developing people. Yeah. Developing people. Uh, once they're inside the organization. So that's your training and development. Training. And then the third would be uh, uh, motivating, motivating them to high levels of performance. So that's your performance management. Correct. And rewards would be part of that. And then the fourth part would be maintaining them in the organization. So that maintaining them would be your engagement, 
their satisfaction, job satisfaction, making them yeah. productive. So it's just clustering it into the four chunks. So yes, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay. So that's acquiring people, developing, motivating, and maintaining people. Yes. Uh, so, uh, uh, Felice, do you agree? Or yeah, um, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. I think we'll, we'll use that moving forward. No? Um, to add to that, um, I think another zero cluster would be organization factors. So things, parang broader um, factors in the organization. So culture, for example, um, leadership, yeah. structure, yeah. Um, that might be the final cluster. Right. So yun yung mga non-negotiable. So if if uh, future or sa first sem magtuturo yung uh, uh, psych teacher ng IO psychology, uh, yun yung mga non-negotiables na sinasuggest natin. Yeah. Yes. Dahil ba ano? No, no. Yung gusto mo na na basta it's time. Yung mga bata na lang basta lahat ng sure. Kasi yun yung mga hindi mga teachers eh. Paano ba? Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. Yung apat na lagi lumalabas sa license will always have to be related to recruitment, training, performance yes. management, yeah, motivation. So yan, yan yung mga laging kasama, yan yung hindi pwede mawala. Uh, org structure. So if you view it really from an industrial to an organizational lens, kaya siya IO side, yes, diba? Yes. Divided uh -huh. from that, that, that way, from the person to the organization. And I think... Um, by focusing exactly on what are the contents sa licensure exam, dun ka rin huhugot na parang, ah, okay, ito yung mga hindi pwede mawala. Training, hindi pwede mawala. Recruitment and selection, hindi pwede mawala. Laging-laging kasama yan. Uh, when we talk about it in terms of performance management, yan, those are, those are the things that are non-negotiable. They will always be included in the licensure exam and will always be included, I guess, in any IOSI classes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. So, siguro from there, no, yung mga, ah, sige, since may top five tayo, huwag na natin sabihin kung ano yung mga top five na pwedeng alisir. Kinompress na siya. Kinompress na siya. So, I guess siguro yeah. the challenge here is to how you would design such that it, it um, may, may connection, may fluidity, no, mas seamless yung, yung way on how teachers will be able to deliver these. Uh, tama yung sinabi ni Dr. Errol kanina, no? na parang from the person to the organization, na parang mas, mas may conscious effort siguro na paano mo tatakiin siya, na you would be able to still touch on several things. Kanari, yung motivation, di ba? And maintenance of people. Kasi lalo na ngayon, no? Paano, how do yeah. you the organizations maybe ako tatanungin ko talaga yung mga kunare let's say ano if 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 i apply and some of my students i ask them sabihin ko sa kanila alam niyo before kayo mag-apply diyan tanungin niyo anong ginawa nila sa mga empleyado nila during this pandemic kasi that would tell you how do you motivate my people to go to work diba or how do yeah. they let them stay how did they take care of their their employees na in turn kung kayo yung hr no, kung kayo yung magmamanage nun, paano nyo din mabumotivate yung mga tao na despite all these problems, ano ngayon yung gagawin ng organization nyo? And sometimes, if, if I remember my I.O. correctly, kay, I forgot na kung sino, no, pasensya naman, sigo <laughs> po kayo yung picture ko. Parang, ay sinasabi niya, and I remember this, no, with, with particularly with some organizations, na hindi lahat tungkol sa pera, no? So, parang minsan, hindi mo mamamotivate yung mga tao dahil malaki lang yung sweldo. Very short term. No? So, yun yung mga bagay na pwede nilang pag-usapan. And I guess, because this is taught in the latter part ng mga, mga third year na to, eh, tama ba? Before... Yeah, yeah before practical, yeah. meron, ng, meron ng mga foundation courses, let's say, on motivation, on um, rewards, di ba? And incentives that they would have previously learned and apply it here. No? Sige. So, singit lang ako para naman hindi tayo lang yung nagkikwentuhan. Meron tayong question dito. Uh, ewan ko kung masasagot na natin to. Uh, Ito daw. Oh, how to... So, from Jeremiah Silvestre. Anyone can answer, no? So, good afternoon po. May you share some experience or tips on how to strike a balance teaching theory with blood preparation and practice you know, of HR competencies. Parang may mga ganyan ba kayong experience? Anyone can 
jump in. Um, yeah, perhaps yeah. Um, to answer that, in terms of um, uh, blending theory and practice, uh, the exercises that we have, they actually apply it. Like there are like doing a job analysis, uh, analyzing a job, or even uh, applying it to themselves because it's really challenging you know, for, for, for the student to connect to it. At least start out with what their dream job is and then what are the requirements of that dream job, what would be the competencies required for that dream job that they have, and then connecting it to now to the different HR um, processes. What will they go through if they join an organization from getting attracted to the organization to being recruited selected to being trained and right. then they get to see what the hr practitioner does as yeah. as they they take care of the person going through that process as being being part of the organization mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so exercises really critical would be um mixing theory and practice so the exercises how you design the exercises would be very important to also right. build their own competencies Sige. So, like, for example, bigyan natin ng ideas yung mga teachers. So, Mian, for example, that, ano, what particular exercise um, did you do para they have some ideas? Yeah. One exercise is I make them actually do a job analysis. So, there's a job analysis yeah. questionnaire that they answer. So, they can answer it personally in terms okay. of their own dream job. Or they can approach either their parent or a, a sibling who's studying to analyze a specific job and then identify specific competencies. So I give a little input on what job analysis is and then they apply. So there's right. always a little input, then application. Mm -hmm. right. So even then, with, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then so they use now yung mga terms, no? So for, 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 yeah. the, for the faculty, makikita mo kung naintindihan ba niya yun kasi mm -hmm. nagagamit niya yung way ng analysis niya by using the terms that uh, he or she uh, has learned dun sa readings perhaps or in the materials that you provided yes yeah okay pwede pa yeah. iyon na kanyari after nung job analysis paggawin mo sila ng job ad for instance for yeah. recruitment yeah. naman pwede mo siyang ituloy-tuloy sa so parang oh, paano ko gagawa ng job ad that will be interesting na makikit na the people will actually try to apply for the job which is a very focal hr competency on uh, recruitment and selection and then itali mo yun, Anna, how do you now create interview questions based yeah, on right. the ad that you created, diba? So mm -hmm. everything has to be in sync. Everything has to be aligned lang. Right, right, right. And then how does the teacher naman know? Kung kunwari, you made a job ad, um, do you ask, let's say, your, your student to uh, parang justify on a one-page parang ganyan? Uh, parang, oh, this is the reason why... Um, this is the ad that I created because uh, it used these particular principles, not in, okay. in IPO. Ah, you could do that. Pwede rin magkaroon ng peer feedback. You could show that to the, other class, to the other members of the class. So they could also chip in the idea na parang, oh, this, is, this looks good. Oh, ito baka pwede mas colorful pa o mas lakihan mo pa yung font. Mm -hmm. So it becomes now a learning experience now for everybody. Yeah. And then they realize na nakaka-chip in pala sila for the information. Nagtutulong-tulong oh. sila. So pumapasok yung collaboration yeah. no na, na, yes. na pagdating sa online learning nawawala siya kasi akala mo individual ka lang oh. pero oh. meron pa rin pwede pa rin mag-integrate ng collaboration working together yes. Okay, good. Actually, that's, that's the key thing when it comes kapag online. Kasi hindi mo nga sigurado kung mag-isa lang yung studyante. <laughs> Mabasahin ba niya talaga yung libro? Gagawin ba talaga yung exercise? Mm -hmm. The only certainty and, and safeguard that you have is to make sure that let's do it in small groups. Mm -hmm. Small enough that people can collaborate but not too big na hindi magkakaroon na social loafing naman din. Na magkakanya mm -hmm. kanya Ito na gumawa niya. Kaya niya na yan, di ba? So it has yeah. to be efficient in terms of size, so to speak. So that's Especially, a good good tip for teachers, no? Uh, last time we talked about uh, collaborative learning. But probably teachers can actually utilize that in small groups or bus sessions, and uh, this this yeah. really works well for for topics such as those. Yeah. Oh, oh. Saka usually ngayon lalo siguro kasi yan medyo madali siya kasi they had the opportunity just, uh, during the start of the sem to get to know each other pero kasi ito yeah. yung first sem they don't they barely you know some people, some students would barely know uh, I mean in in some in some cases kasi hindi oh, naman sila yeah. exception no so para yeah. right. siguro one thing that you can do uh, when you start your classes is to 
um, create parang mga parang breaking the ice. How do we? How did the students get to know each other? So that Correct. prepares them to these kinds of activities as well. Yes. Okay. Sige, Felice, merong ambag? Well, yeah, so I Top 7. Top 7. Top 7. lang siya sa atin. The process of your picking us. Good idea. Ayan. So, <laughs> diba? That's one way. Yeah, diba? Kaya pala online. Pinipilip diba? ko. Diba? Top observation. Oh. No, no, no. Just to add to that, no, I don't think parang it doesn't have to be projects all the time. Parang just in the day-to-day, parang whenever you share a topic, like just having a discussion board um, where they reflect on the theories and then they connect it to their own experiences. No? As we said, a lot of times, iOS for the more older students naman eh. So siguro may experiences na sila with orgs or maybe mm-hmm. some of them have, I don't know, job experiences even. So um, asking them to reflect on the concepts that were discussed and how they can connect it to their own experiences. Um, if they're able to share that, then that's a way for their classmates also to get to know them, diba? get to know their thoughts about certain things. Yeah. Right, right. Sige. May comment lang din tayo from uh, Gerald uh, Peñaran. Gerald. Oo. So parang in DLSU daw, we have IO Psych 1 and IO Psych 2 so that the teacher is not rushed since IO Psych is so broad. Right. So, so perhaps um, if if you are a medyo bigger department, ganyan, perhaps you can talk. Um, kasi baka yung iba IO lang. So I know some schools, medyo yung mga laboratories nila are put sa second sem where yeah. must, right. they would have time, more time on that. No? Sige. Sige. Uh, one more. One more question lang from Aaron yeah. Harold Pamoso. So hello, good afternoon po. What tips or techniques do you usually use when teaching training and development? In our institution, training and development is separate from IO psychology. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. thank you. So, yeah. may ganun ba tayo? May ganun ba sa at, um, at ngayon or in, in UP December? Sa UP, ganun. Uh, separate. Yeah. Merong separate yeah. na course on IO and then a separate for uh, training, design, and development. Mm-hmm. And actually, yung title yeah. ng course. So, yeah, it's yeah. separate. Um, this is kind of difficult because it. Um, mm-hmm. this has been taught for like, face-to-face talaga and they have to like, yes. you know, um, conduct the actual training you know, um, mm-hmm. and develop a uh, training design. Sa inyo, sa Ateneo, is it separate ba? Filis umiileo. Filis umiileo. Meron ba, sir? Para... Actually, yeah. Are you better at grad, uh, grad level, I think. A grad yeah. level. Grad, ah, grad level. Okay. Um, there was a SEM, I remember. It was an elective. The training, the details of a training design was an IS elective in another department. So it was like making them really design a specific course. In IO Psych, the way we would integrate it, because it's the general process of training and development, we would ask them to design a module. Yeah. Like a structured learning exercise. So yes. it's like a smaller, it's like a mini version yeah. as compared to the whole um, human resource development, training development yeah. uh, function. So it's like a bird's eye view for the undergrad. But for the grad class, it's like a whole um, semester course mm-hmm. that they really actually design and implement a training program. Yeah. Siguro one activity na pwede nilang gawin for training. Oh, how do you train your employees now that we're using technology and this is pandemic, di ba? So para based on, may hugot ka naman kasi as a <laughs> yung experience ko. Di ba? Baka, right. Paano mo ngayon i-design yeah. no? yung, right. yung activity nila? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Laging magandang hugot lagi based on what's currently happening. That, that yeah. really, mas, alam yun yung mga sadyante, pag, nang, pag yun yung ginagamit mong examples, mas madali nilang makita na, ah, okay, ito yung relevant, pragmatic use ng, ng I.O. Psyche agad in day-to-day work. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, Monique. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, so, if you were given a chance, like, uh, to, uh, let's say, uh, in terms of rubrics or assessment, kasi online or at all, remote learning, uh, um, what do you think would be uh, changes in your rubrics na before wala noon sa classroom setting, pero ngayon, kasi virtual na, um, do you have an add-on or you modify it? 
in terms of ass assessing your students' out outputs? Felice, Doc Felice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> face to face yung parang expressions mo talaga no um for me i, I would like to siguro increase the discussion um, percentage in the rubrics para lang mapilitan sila na talagang mag-share just because parang I guess it's harder when it's online to do that. So at least that they know parang that parang they're sort of forced to reflect talaga on these questions that we share with them. That's one change that I would do. How about uh, Doc Harold? Ako siguro more, if ever, more activities, exercises that will require them to apply what they've read or or learned in in the chapters or in the readings, um, I guess that's way that's one way. Para malama mo na nababasa ba talaga yung dapat basahin na nakuha ba nila yung content. Naintindi ba nila yung content? Yeah. Uh, Tulad ng example kay ni Nivet na para if you're gonna talk about recruitment and selection, itutuhub ko siya sa COVID. Kamusta bago ka magapply? Anong ginawa ng mga kompanya in terms of <laughs> Retaining individuals, diba? That's actually mm -hmm. one way. So, uh, ma, ma, ma practice sila yung analysis nila. And maybe do it in small groups so that there will be more collaboration. Um, that's something that's fundamental for online teaching. Uh, we have to make sure that hindi lang sila nagbabasa completely yung kung ano binabasa nila. And there's, a, there's an output that we might be requiring from them. Mm -hmm. And that's what's nice about IO kasi applied talaga siya, no? Um, uh, Matatranslate mo yung theory, yung principle into what's actually in your community or in the workplace or in the present situation. How about, uh, Mian? Yeah. yeah. In terms um, of changing I think a, a big, uh, changing it, it's more of, I think, more weight now on um, uh, thinking and reflecting in discussion forums yeah. in online because um, Same. it's it's hard to measure, not like before in the classroom, it's easy to, yeah. to see and find out you know, they are able mm -hmm. to express themselves. Mm -hmm. So now the challenge I think would be look, I'd be looking for is from this, challenging the students to write and express their thoughts so that mm -hmm. we, like, we get to read their thoughts regarding the topics. So more thinking and reflecting and application of the uh, concepts. Mm -hmm. And then, siguro yung considering... parang wala nang long, wala nang... Sorry, go ahead. Sige, sige, bro. Go, go. Ah, okay, parang mo siguro yun. Parang yung long, yung long test, yung mga exams, parang hindi na pwede mag-multiple choice ng outright. Okay. Kasi yeah. pwede lang tingnan sa libro, diba? Makikita nila no. kala. It has to be really more applied, more more analysis, so to speak, uh -huh. yung assessment levels. Kailangan. Mm -hmm. Hello, PRC. Hello, PRC. Hello, PRC. Hello, PRC. Hello, PRC. Hello, PRC. Oo, kasi naka-ano siya, naka-ang tawag dito, naka-multiple choice siya. Parang feeling ko, it would be difficult talaga no, to separate. I think one of the challenges nung nagkaroon, for me lang, no, um, nung nagkaroon ng, ng, ng changes for the licensure, parang, parang some, some courses na kailangan mo siyang turuan ng, eto kasi siya, um, how you phrase the question. Baka pwede pa rin namang multiple choice, pero mas out comes, ano na tawag doon? Out, out higher comes order. Uh, higher higher order, order thinking skill. Oh, yes. So it would hindi, be that. Yeah. Hindi, mm -hmm. hindi siya pwedeng, ano, pwede siya, hindi pwedeng, um, ah, recall it, hindi siya pwedeng parang theory, tell me kung ano yung first step ng Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. Or application question siya. Yes. Uh -oh. Na mahirap din sa teacher, no? Kasi minsan, you, you need to think pa of ano ba tong situation na to yes. and rationalize. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, go back to yes. Kimi and for some of our listeners and our viewers, yung uh, and and what what uh, Doc Felice was saying a while ago regarding discussion forum, no? So parang sometimes yung yung difficulty hindi din lahat ng students magaling magsulat, de ba? Or yung iba ang galeng magsulat, kahit na de ba yung parang binigay mo lang yung mga terms na ganyan, pero very eloquently 
yung pagkakasok mm-hmm. natin. So I guess yung galeng then uh, or your your being open to the use of a particular language. Sabi nga ni Janine to go on, ba? Uh, it does it. Ha? <laughs> Sorry na, it's universal reference. Pero yung, uh, uh, you don't need a specific language to be able to um, help other people. So parang ganun din, na parang some students, siguro if you're going, so for, so for some of our teachers na, baka, oh sige, maganda mag-discussion forum. Keep in mind then that some students are not able to express themselves in written communication. Yeah. As, as much or as better or equally um, talented with other students. Mm-hmm. Kasi minsan, so baka pag nagpa-discussion forum, um, perhaps um, not, parang they don't need to be uh, very wary about their um, grammar or they can speak in their own vernacular. <laughs> Kasi minsan, yun yung intimidating right. yes. to the students. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pero pero here's the thing eh kasi parang ano yan eh yan, sacrificial lamb kumbaga kasi it's a it's a it's a it's a board exam or it's a board course and then uh, students need to have really good comprehension skills kasi kailangan niya intindihin yung exam question so pag uh, you have to give that away okay lap side ko na lang i'll just weigh this out uh, put more weight on this parang you really it's really a, a judgment call no for for teachers depending on how are they going to emphasize which weights or components of the grade do they want to do yeah See, i think to add lang sorry Go ahead. for the discussion questions, I would make it, I would siguro allow them not just to put their thoughts and reflections, but even questions that they might have um, about the readings, about the theories, yeah. and then allow the other students also to answer to help sure. parang elaborate on the concept. So parang it's really a discussion and not a uh, and it's a good it's a good uh, uh break for the teacher. <laughs> that's true so lang ano pa sa parang you you respect everyone's opinion as well diba within the discussion board Oh, na ko minsan may problema din tayo John Errol dahil sa mga opinion opinion kasi hindi <laughs> factual yung mga opinion hindi ba no mi no ano ni niyo ano ko I'll be very honest ano ni niyo kung ano mga magsasabi sa ay bakit ako sabi lang naman ako ng opinion it's my freedom of speech so I guess yung 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 sinasabi natin dito is that you design a discussion forum that has ano no that has a uh, certain rubrics what 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 munik yeah. ano dito yeah. munik sa tabi ko yes. Yes. what munik was yes. 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 um, <laughs> 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 yung um so hindi lang siya about, <laughs> hindi lang siya about respect no mm-hmm. yes. also um about can you base um can you back up no your mm-hmm. your your ano your Input. Uh, input. Or, or, or rather yeah. than opinion. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's a good thing, siguro, no, for teachers who will be teaching um, in the form of like uh, discussion boards to set up ground rules. Kasi mm-hmm. pa set up lang yeah. ng, ano, Facebook, whatever, <laughs> Messenger, <laughs> ano, whatever. Dapat may rules. Diba? Yes. Sana si <laughs> Wala na siya. <laughs> <laughs> no, <wala si> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, uh, what do you think um, will be uh, competencies ng teacher ng IO specifically? Um, if 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 I were I will teach IO sa first sem this coming first sem, what do I I need to build on uh, in terms of competencies when I'm about to teach the subject or prepare for the subject? Uh, uh, Dr. I think we're all challenged now to really just rethink the way that we design a course and teach a course. So competencies related to you know, online learning, online mm-hmm. teaching. Um, and that's on the teaching end, ha. Huh? I think we also need 
competencies just as employees who are working from home diba? just diba? just being able to do to balance that kind of thing and be used to um that kind of setup where boundaries are being blurred i mean personally i have two kids so this has really been like such a challenge for me um to apparent it, it's a huge adjustment so i think competencies as teachers moving into the first semester has to be like um in terms of just working in general and secondly in terms of how to teach online diba content wise um since we've been teaching a while alam na natin what needs to be in there i think um mm -hmm. but it's the new approach um of how to share this information how to ensure that people are engaged diba mm -hmm. um yun Okay, that's um that's true, no? Because um as teachers, alam na natin tinuturo na natin to for the longest time. But translating it in a different yeah. um, yes. platform yeah. or mode, uh, it's very challenging. Parang uh you don't know which approach are you gonna use or what what is effective, and you're dealing with various realities of students. So um, siguro they have to consider um part of it as a being conscious about and being mindful about that na uh, it's yeah. not just walking into the classroom and okay ito yung slides ko and whatever now you need to be very creative and innovative and and um engaging um right. consider the circumstances yes doc eric kasi kahit nakapikit tayo alam na natin yung content na i-discuss eh parang alam na natin na ito yung flow ng topics ito yung theory ito yung ibig sabihin nito it's really now transitioning everything on an online platform so that um, the, we as, as faculty and the students can both adjust and still have the maximum learning capability na makukuha from the course. Um, so knowing your learning management system is critical. Mm -hmm. Kailangan alam mo talaga, ano ba, paano ba mag-operate ng Zoom? Paano ba mag-operate yeah. ng Hangouts, di ba? Paano ba mag-operate ng Moodle, di ba? Or ng Google mm -hmm. Classroom. So, the technical competency, like what I said, Kirina, since it's the, we were forced into the fourth industrial revolution, bigla-biglaan, kailangan alam, mabilis tayong matuto kung ano yung technical requirements of an online delivery of the program. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then I guess the next step is yun nga, the sensitivity. The parang, okay, so how can I still express my sensitivity to my students, making mm -hmm. bring to consciousness na ito yung situation pa rin. Oh, may pandemic pa rin. Uh -huh. pang emergency na nangyari. We still want the safety for everybody, for our families and for our students. But at the same time, we want to make sure na they learn as much as they can from us, diba? I guess mm -hmm. I, that's, the, that's the vocation of education, that they have to learn as much as they can from us and without jeopardizing health and safety, both on, on both ends, our end and their end. Mm -hmm. Mian? Um, actually, na, na na, it's the technical part that I, I feel that I'm also adjusting, the technical side. Very important in technical. And I think you need the support of the, the school, um, the, the yeah. backroom work. Because as, as you need the, the technology, yeah, where you're going to host, where you're going to put the materials, mm -hmm. and uh, that, the technical support as well. Union and us, it's, aside from knowing the technical competencies, it's also the support from the, the university, from the school. To be able to launch that kind of what pla what platform you're using for the learning system. I think to add to um, what Mamian was saying, the support of the school in terms of having a platform, for example, I think that's helpful. Then, para from the perspective of the students, because kahit iba iba yung topic that they're learning within the semester, at least isa lang yung parang mode. It's it's a relatively similar feel. Mm -hmm. Um, in terms of their learning experience. So um, it's not jarring. I mean, it is jarring to suddenly go online. But right? <laughs> imagine if all their different classes had different ways pa of right? yes, engaging right. them. Um, yes. so, so I think that's, that's also helpful, not just for the teachers in terms of gaining new competencies on the technical side, but also the experience of um, students who have to transition to this kind of learning full time. Mm -hmm. I think we have uh, uh, questions there. Sige. Sige. Yeah. Oh, nakabalik na ako in fairness. Kinuusap ko na ang RC. Charat. Kinuusap ko na ang RC. So, from RJ Perez. Hi. 
I'm teaching IO okay. psychology and HRDM. Based on your experience, what are the what are the strategies that you use to avoid overlapping topics, assuring that all topics are touched in traditional face to face and remote learning? Thank you. So I think na medyo na banggit naman na yon kanina. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I guess siguro yung ako siguro para lang din uh, matulungan, no? Kasi sabi natin kanina top five. And then, what are the things na pwede mo namang i-let go na? Siguro what is important also is to collaborate with other faculty members who are also teaching psychology subjects. Kasi, um, kunwari, ano ba usually ang I.O.? Anong kasabay ng I.O.? Like, in Ateneo, what is another course na medyo kasabay? May ganun ba? O wala kayong kasabay? Hmm. Third year? Third year. Abnormal? Abnormal. Abnormal. Abnormal psychology. Yeah, yeah. I so, think abnormal. I'm yeah. not sure. Abnormal. Fisio psych. Parang, Fisio. Uh, I remember uh, them saying yeah. that they have exams. Yeah. <laughs> and wow. organic. Yeah. Right, right. So, um, yun. So, baka pwedeng uh, tignan natin then na kung meron tayo mga topics na hindi natin discuss dito, or activities na pwedeng magkasama. Um, when I worked in, in Assumption College, meron silang tinatawag na webbing. So that students just need to um, submit one activity, but that, that complies with two requirements already, one for each ano, course. So baka pwede rin tignan, tignan din yun. Yeah. Sige. So meron pa tayo isang question. Nasaan na ba yun? Hindi ko mahanap. Mahanap ba? Okay. So, hinahanap na yung isang question. Um, so, I guess, you know, if again, if you have questions, our viewers and listeners, ba't ko ba sinasabing listeners? Hindi pa tayo, wala pa tayong account sa Spotify. <laughs> so, yun. By the way, just in case people are wondering, may delay kami ng, ng streaming ng mga 20 seconds. So, mm-hmm. just in case lang sa live stream, baka hindi. So, okay. Okay. So, we have another question from Grace, um, AC, ano ba to? Hasegawa. So, please share activities on how we can teach selection and recruitment. Uh, so, top seven, ikaw to. Especially now that there is a pandemic and most companies have an EHR orientation. Wow, may ganun. Mm-hmm. So how can we teach focusing on HR practice but is still grounded in science? Mm-hmm. Um, ako, I would think, siguro dun sa first question, um, since we are online, having them explore the different recruitment platforms that are online, diba? Um, and then sharing with a class what they know. That might be one way. Normally, kasi in Ateneo, sumasabay yung, meron tayong recruitment fair, di ba? Usually, during yeah. the semester that we teach yeah. But obviously, yeah. um, that yeah. won't happen this semester. So, siguro mm-hmm. parang exploring nga the online ways of recruiting and selecting. So, you, could, you could do exercises na parang sila mismo mag-interview Pwede. sa bawat isa, mm-hmm. di ba? And then get feedback on how they actually under, went through the recruitment process. That could yeah. be one way to actually try it out and see na parang, Saan sila nahihirapan, saan sila nadalian, di ba? So that, that could be one with gauge as well. Sige. Okay. Uh, we have here another question from, uh, ano ba ito? Glenn? Mm. Uh, L ba yun? Okay. Glenn G. Arnold. One cha- challenge is how can the teachers know that the students didn't use the common copy and paste technique from Mr. Google? In testing their knowledge in the application of theories. Bakit Mr. Google? Pwede namang Miss Google siya. Oo, oh, so, ayan. Pwede rin. Pwede rin. Happy Pride! Happy Pride! <laughs> in testing their knowledge in the application of theories they learn, engage their competencies. Siguro, um, based on your experiences, um, how were you able to know whether ba na-copy-paste siya or not? <laughs> Iba naman! I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! I don't certain platforms or applications yeah, that you need to, platforms. to check for uh, authenticity. 
Uh, Turnitin, for instance, is one for you to validate in terms of ilang percent ba yung kinopia from somewhere, mm -hmm. diba? at ilang percent yung original information. So, yeah. pwedeng ganun yung gawin. That, that is, that's actually one way for you to check on plagiarism kahit na alam mong they have all the access to Mr. Slash Mrs. Google, di ba? So, kailangan lang, you have to also, your own, you have to also have your own security measures. So, may mga platforms naman, may mga possible web pages na pwedeng gamitin. Ah, okay. Alright, sige, sige. Or, kasi ang alam ko yung Turnitin, may bayad siya eh, no? May mga, I think what, free, ako lang, free. Uh, ang suggestion ko is, during the discussion forum, you can actually test paano sila magsalita. Parang you would get a feel yes. eh, on how they yeah. yeah. The style uh, of So, so ma makikita mo yon in terms of, like, sometimes, similar, no, to a face-to-face -face, um, parang setup. Parang, alam mo namang hindi siya ganyan magsalita or ganyan <laughs> yung thinking, eh, no? So, uh, ang mahirap yun doon, Siyempre, you have to sift through. So, siguro, the design, the activities, how do you know yeah. ano yung mga parang kinopy and paste ba niya na, na materials? Um, again, no, minsan naman kasi, nabasa talaga nila, maganda lang talaga sila magsulat. Nako, right. eh, may mga students akong kilala, kala mo, ang gagaling talaga, no? Ang galing lang bumuha ka. No, ako lalo na yung Ateneo and other schools. So, <laughs> so may mga ganon. No, sa minsan, um, siguro as a, as a teacher, bigyan nyo sila ng resources no, on how to make sure that they are not plagiarizing. Um, parang references, websites, so that they can check. Kasi, yeah. oh, kasi baka minsan hindi rin naman nila alam talaga paano. Mm -hmm. Uh, appeal to ignorance, di ba? Pero baka yun yung kailangan natin support, no? Um, right. We talked about, um, kanina, about administrative support, but this one talks also about student support. So it's not about just giving them activities, but making mm -hmm. sure that yung mga pinapakomply natin against ethical standards, we give them resources also for that. I think yun yung magandang tignan din doon. Yeah. And, and it's also uh, important no, for a teacher to really frame the question in a way na hindi siya objective type na pwede niya lang makuha somewhere. It's more of a, a, a question that generates insights and critical thinking. So tricky yung um, que uh, constructing the question in a discussion mm -hmm. or in an exam right. or in an activity. Yeah. Right. Yes, yes. Okay, so another question is from Dr. Dags uh, Fernandez. Ha? So, hi, hi Dr. Dags. Hi, Dags. Okay, oh, may question siya. Hindi na lang pini-em sa atin. Oh, okay. ma. <laughs> Hindi, baka kasi din, some of our questions din from our viewers, baka questions din naman ng iba na hihiyari. Okay, so in terms of virtual classroom management, how do we... How do we do discussions, do discussions and collaborative activities? Also, how do we make sure students are engaged? Uh, do we require them to use their camera all the time? P.S. Congratulations, Phyllis. And Woo, thank you. Sige. Dahil dyan, Phyllis, ito sumagot. Oh. At dahil ako na ako, pipiliin ko yung question na sasagutin ko. Okay. So, go. <laughs> so do we require them to use their cameras at all all the time? Mm -hmm. Ang sagot dyan, I, I guess at least for us, is no. Diba? Um, yeah. I think there's another question um, in the live comments about really a disparity in terms of access towards internet. Diba? Um, and Siguro that's, that's our cue to step away from um, what they call synchronous learning. Um, yung parang sabay-sabay na um, classroom setting pa rin. So para kang nag-classroom setting pero ginawa mo lang online, di ba? So um, siguro stepping away from that uh, type of synchronous learning and moving into asynchronous learning um, where really it's, it's up to the student to pace themselves um, and to ensure that they're doing the tasks. Um, pero to ensure that they're still engaged and that they are doing their work, diba? setting pa rin deadlines, um, flexible deadlines in terms of when this has to be done. Diba? Correct. 
Ah, yeah. On a practical note din, syempre, parang hindi kailangan lahat ng camera naka-on. Kasi baka mamaya yung bandwidth din ng bata, hindi yeah. kakayanin yung naka-on yung webcam niya all throughout mm-hmm. the time. Um, so, baka mamaya, yun din yung isang link. Minsan iba, walang laptop. Minsan yes. phone lang yung ginagamit, diba? So, um, so it, it's also okay. It's okay na hindi naman kailangan naka-on yung camera all the time. Um, to answer the other question, how do we make the discussions collaborative or activities collaborative. Um, it could be part of the design that students are uh, required to share their thoughts or reflections. At the same time, they also have to reply to a fellow classmate. That's one way of uh, engaging them in a discussion, an online discussion that they have to reply to a classmate. Another would be if we group them, like there could be virtual groups that they work together and then they, they share an output. So these are some possible um, uh, ways of making them work together and making them um, participate. Yeah. And then yung sinabi kanil na peer reviews, that might also help. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I, I know some some of the online apps for like like Zoom, for instance, yata, pwede yata magkaroon ng breakout rooms. Yeah. Uh, random mm. yung pag-distribute mga estudyante. So that could be one way. Mm-hmm. Or siguro we have to veer away from the idea that engagement is supposed to be something um, paano, paano ba to? tangible, physical, yeah. visible. Because yes. we can be engaged. Uh, we have to remember that some of our students, hindi lahat uh, enough yung, uh, some of them might have to work uh, during this pandemic because nga of unemployment of some people. So baka hindi mm-hmm. rin talaga nila kaya, kakayanin to yeah, be correct. in the synchronous level. No? So okay. when we talk about engagement, um, it's how we design the activities without necessarily the use of cameras. So I guess yun yung challenge no, mm-hmm. sa atin. Yeah. Parang, um, how do we know na engagement na to, no, being able to comply, being able to do the requirements, mm-hmm. but at the same time, also considering their plight, no, also considering what they're going through at this time. Sige, pinorek na ni ano, ni, ni Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry po, okay lang. Ano lang naman namin. Kasi... Pwede mo namang MX para hindi <laughs> na kailangan slash. Kinorek na yung slash kang number lang yan. So, MX. True. Okay, sige. So, let's get one again from, uh, ano naman, from our viewers. Mm-hmm. Sorry, dun sa mga nasa baba, natatakpan na yung mga face nila. Mga baba. Okay. A challenge in the province is the internet connection. So, some students cannot attend Zoom meeting and other platforms. What can you suggest to address this problem? Tapos, another is, I will promote teamwork activities. Although, medyo nasagot na to, no? what team group mm-hmm. activities can you suggest give the problem given the problem on internet access. Siguro, ito in the context of, sige, maganda yung uh, mag-breakout sessions tayo. But, yun nga, parang, what could be done or other platforms that you can suggest? Paano kung email lang talaga or text? Pwede ba yun? Pwede, pwede, pwede pa rin mag-work yan. Yeah. I think, I mean, pwede ka pa rin, pwede pa rin bigyan ng reading tapos sila bahala magbasa. I mean, you could let them have it na still the usual off the shelf na offline method may email uh-huh. lang diba afterwards basahin na lang tapos may out meron ka na lang let's say um, reflection paper afterwards how do you how do you analyze this diba um, you have to be considerate and sensitive that maybe nga lahat mga estudyante baka mamaya sa minuto lang no? wala silang internet sa bahay kailangan mm-hmm. nila tumakbo sa internet cafe and mm-hmm. and, they don't, and they want to be safe as well diba and they don't mm-hmm. want to go out as frequent as they want to. So, um, find possible means na pwedeng offline learning yung parang i- online mo, basahin mo yung page, tapos offline ka agad. Tapos basahin na lang niya. Tapos online siya ulit. Yung downloadable materials that can be easily accessed by the students. Hmm. Yeah, um, I agree. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, so I, I guess that's what I, that's what I was saying about as asynchronous learning a while ago. Diba? Hindi naman kailangan lagi sabay-sabay na naka-Zoom meeting, na naka-hangouts, um, really trusting them to go through um, the different materials that um, we've curated and planned for already. No? Um, and I think one of the things that they're teaching us now is that, you know, to really consider that some people don't have internet access. So um, 
while you can have your videos, for example, and those are fun and those are visually appealing, parang making sure that those also have transcripts. Para yung mga people na hindi tayo nilang stream, pwede lang nilang i-download yung transcript and still somewhat understand the content um, of those videos. So just also as a teacher, being conscious about those things, na parang what is the low bandwidth um, version of this thing that I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. True, true. Yeah. Nabanggit na ng aking teammates. So it's really, you know, it's really having the materials available. And then in design talaga, very critical yung design. So how do you put all the materials together? And then um, what activities uh, that will allow them to be able to download it? They have the pa- learning packages. They can do it at their time and then have the time for them to upload it so that we're all, you know, we're all aligned in terms of schedule. So, yun yun ano, making the materials uh, readily available and downloadable for them, given the low bandwidth. Right. So, like, for example, kung low bandwidth, sorry, hindi ko kasi alam kung, like, in sa messenger, although parang pwede naman yata siya, like, kung yung mahina yung internet, there, um, messenger has a group chat feature, for example, in-endorse natin si Facebook kasi <laughs> nandito pa <rin> sa platform. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, um, parang even if you don't have load, for example, um, parang you can still send messages. Hindi lang yata mag-view yung mga videos or um, uh, ano tawag dito? Mga photos. But you can still see the conversation there. Ang, yeah. ang issue ko lang with that I, I think no with 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 what's happening now is you have to make different parang strategies depending on how you assess your students mm-hmm. um uh, parang background no so parang kapag tama si si Doc Felis no na parang kapag uh, low bandwidth baka ito yung pwedeng activity no pag ito ito yung activity and stuff um, again siguro what is important is what is the learning outcome lagi naman doon we don't start with activity kasi yes. ito yung gusto natin yeah. so yes. we start with the learning outcome yeah. how do we now uh, make sure that the students will be able to reach that to the, through these different activities so so mm. it doesn't have to be glamorous na okay mag zoom tayo pero hindi mm. naman talaga a uh, practical okay yeah ano yeah. yeah. question ko? ako may question yeah. ako go ahead <laughs> Ma- ang, uh, sa courses niyo ba sa IO ba uh, do you have like research like a small research paper that you require or a research component anyone <laughs> yeah i'll answer yeah. that actually yeah. Yeah. um one of one of the activities it's an it's like an experiential learning project they have to uh mm-hmm. get in touch with an organization analyze the organization yes. Yes. and as they do the write up they have to connect it with some related literature yeah yeah so that's yeah. one aspect and then um we're still in the at the actually right now we're redesigning so there's a portion that we would do also journal reviews so there's a part of research component we're in Mm-hmm. If they do have a thought paper, they have to integrate certain um, literature, references. Yeah. So that would have a research component to be able to um, share their views in relation to what has been written out there and be able to cite it following the APA format. So that's to practice mm-hmm. them also in the writing aspect. Yeah, mm-hmm. in, in one in one, big, one uh, angle, because lahat ng IO site students, third year. So... Yes. Third year, second semester, or first semester, you should mm-hmm. do it. So by the time they hit fourth year, thesis na. And sometimes yeah. you don't know how to look for the right journal article. So this is our way, actually, of bridging, so to speak, towards the next step in the learning process. Mm-hmm. Para ma- as early as now, masanay na sila na parang, oh, it's an application of theory. Really, there's that research component. And there's that applied side. Na, Sige, tinan nyo nga, how is this applied really in organizations? So right. we're trying to really find that balance of the two. Yeah. That's right. Sige, yung kanina si Ching Sarabia, sabi niya may shinier daw tayo sa FB group natin. On, pero hindi daw ito yung tamang site. Ito hindi. daw siya. Yan yan. <laughs> <laughs> ito daw yung tamang yeah. site. Oh. <laughs> so you can actually scroll down. Uh, we posted something like a blog um, 
na ito yung mga different uh, video conferencing alternatives depending on the bandwidth, no? So, mm-hmm. kung mati na parang ito yung pinaka-pwedeng alternative, like email or through texting or through phone conversations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sige. Nasagot na natin to, hindi ba? O baka hindi. Ah, ba? I think so. Yeah. Oh, balikan mo na lang, RJ. <laughs> RJ, balikan mo na lang. I think we were able to answer this. Um, already. Um, we have a comment. Uh, ano ba ito? Question. Alam, naubos na. Nawala na yung ibang speaker namin. Oh, Ayun. Hello, Helen. Hello, Helen. Wala ka na yan. Wala ka na yan. They're still there. Ay, ayan. Oh, meron pala ganun alternative. Oh, si Helen okay. yan, madam. Yes. So, Helen uh, from Iliilo. Um, yeah. Hello, everyone. As I have observed, the workplace setting seems so abruptly subscribed to online media. So recruitment, selection, organizational behavior, and even motivation. How do we teach the students about these changes? Shall we introduce them to these or still highlight those of the traditional practice? Good question. Yes, good question. Mian mo ano? Go mian. Oh, mian. <laughs> okay. Are you not doing it? Sa sa sa. Ako sa sa. Okay. So, basically, it's like any other change. It's very important to orient our students and even ourselves as we go through changes, to, so that we um, refrain from actually we shift from what we're so used to to what we're going to mm. do now. So there has to be that component wherein they are introduced to what. For example, what platform will you be using? And this should happen even before the learning session starts, before the class starts. Like what what platform, if it's whether it's Google Classroom or if it's mm-hmm. going to decide like it's your email, be clear on what the the norms will be and then orient them on tools and then share links of tutorials on how to use it and really checking if the students are all on the same page in terms of knowing how to navigate the different platform. So very important, the orientation, like what what learning tool will you be using and then preparing them for it so that it doesn't become a hindrance from, from for them to learn uh, with the new um, online learning uh, delivery. Ako, iba yung magiging perspective ko sa question ni Ms. Len. I might, I hope I might even still try to teach the traditional process mm-hmm. of how to do actually the face-to-face recruitment. And since you're teaching young people who are more techy, tech savvy, probably, yeah. diba, tech savvy than us, let the exercise be, okay, how will you now transition all of these to an online yes. system? Right. So in a certain way, you try to let them analyze, parang, oh, nga, no? how do we move it? And then they could try it out mm-hmm. and then make practice. So baka, True. it's also a learning exercise for them rather than tell to them, okay, ito siya pwedeng gawin. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Felice? I agree. I agree. I'll say the whole thing. Well, that's one thing that's parang emphasize the, the way we teach parang adult learning principles and really that, just yeah. learning with everyone that everyone parang can contribute to the learning of the group. No? So this whole experience parang just reminds us teachers to take that approach trend. Na, um, kasi I'm not... I. I I will admit that I don't really understand or I wouldn't know the best practices yet for all of these, how they're shifting to online. Because we haven't studied that yet. There isn't much research on that yet. Yes. Um, so, parang learning together with the class. Yun nga yung sinabi ni Sir Errol. Okay, as a group, let's try to see what kaya, given the theories that we know, given the concepts that we've understood in the traditional sense, how might we translate this um, uh, to online, di ba? Or parang given the new... Um, ways of working now. Yeah. Why? How do you now do performance management mm-hmm. online? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. How do you how do you now give feedback to mm-hmm. your employees? How do you now measure the right um, criteria in terms of productivity, in terms yeah. of performance, diba? Mm-hmm. So that can magbabago. And and the students sabay kay natututo ng estudyante na parang ah, oh, nga, no? this is mm-hmm. the way to do it, diba? Mm-hmm. Malay natin, pwede pa mag-thesis nila yan next year. Kapag mag-thesis nila. That's true. Oh, that's true. Diba? Pwede. Sige. So, it's already around 3.40. That's all the time that we have. Ano, 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, sure, we also want to give time. Thank you, uh, Mian, Feliz, and thank you. Um, thank you also. Doc Era, thank you for uh, allowing us to have you as our uh, guest for the second episode. I'm pretty sure some of the questions no na na medarating pa kasi naka-asynchronous tayo. <laughs> um, this is recorded. So if you have questions pa uh, to our guests, uh, please please no um uh, you can send them a message. Okay lang ba yun, Doc Erald? Uh, send them a message in um, their Facebook page. Facebook page, yes. Or you can probably go to the comment section. This is being shared in their Facebook page as well. So um, once they have time, they would be able to, to go back and then probably try to answer. One of the goals naman of the teaching site, SIG, is that we want to have collaboration among the different uh, regions no for teachers mm-hmm. para mentorship them uh, we cannot do this alone kasi no so we need to help each other out um and i o uh, division and uh, ateneo and cord as well has always been in partnership with the te- teaching psychology i think we've yan yung unang naging partnership natin no teaching yeah. i o side yeah. Right. Um, right. We've had that in right. ang tagal na noon, no? Parang 2000. <laughs> si Ma'am Gina pa. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Oh, the oh. Um, and then a year ago, I think we went to Cebu, no? For, oh. for uh, yung mga yon. So, um, before we let them go, um, Doc Errol, as as uh, the director for Court, baka meron kayong gustong i-plug na mga... Silis, uh, may sasabihin ka? Silis pa rin tayo. <laughs> Si Doc Feliz always. Uh, <laughs> ano ba? None off the top of my head, but uh, I think we post our updates naman on our Facebook page. So if you could um, like us there, yeah, nagplug na. Um, so yeah, follow us on our yeah. Facebook page, um, and then we'll have updates on new courses that we might have or webinars that you might be interested in. Right. Ako, I'll take the I'll take the stance of the of the IO site division. I um. Um, it is a totally different time, you know, it's, 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 it's challenging, it's extraordinary moments in human history nangyayari ngayon. Mm-hmm. But this challenges us to be creative in the way that we're teaching all the courses, not necessarily mm-hmm. I.O., all the mm-hmm. different courses that we have in, in, in school, diba? From whatever level, grade school, high school, college, diba? Yes. Uh, it's looking, um, it's a paradigm shift that we have to look at, at possibilities outside the box. We, we have to get rid of our comfort zone and then really try to look for different creative ways of moving forward in teaching. Again, guys, I'm going to vocation, diba? This is our calling as teachers. And part of our calling is really to be creative and to ensure that despite the national and global pandemic that's happening, we are still moving forward with education. Mm-hmm. Sige. Mian? <laughs> Mian? Mian? Dito? Well, it's ano, um, amidst all this, um, for us to be effective teachers, don't forget to practice self-care. Because, you know, mm-hmm. that's very important. So for us to be effective, we have to take care of ourselves also so that we'll be effective teachers to our students. All right. So... Wait, can I add? Sorry. Favorite na ko eh. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, there was a there was a comment um on our live feed thing that says na parin nag enjoy siya because unique style of webinar interactive. And I, I want to thank you guys also. Um you guys also in the teaching side. Yay! Yay! No, I, I, diba, I, I enjoyed the style um, yes. of, of webinar. Diba? It was fun, it was interactive. And I want to thank you guys for having us um, in picking our brains, I suppose, about this. Uh, I hope you help. <laughs> we hope you help as well. Sa nakatulong ka. Yes, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I, sinasabi nga dito sa comments that they got a lot of insights and I'm sure makakatulong because they're gonna prepare for the first semester uh, yes. sa ating mga psychology teachers. Don't be scared. You have the uh, teaching psychology special interest group and of course our experts. 
Ah, nandito nandiyan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank you. All right, sige. Uh, Monique, uh, meron tayong ipa-plug? Yes. Na mga bagay-bagay. Hindi ko makikita. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. There you go. Okay. So today, uh, we had teaching IO psychology during COVID-19 online and onwards. We had uh, Dr. Errol and uh, Dr. Felice and um, uh, Mami Ann. Um, in, on June 4, please do not forget... Um, Research Mentoring Amidst the COVID Pandemic. It's with Dr. Alan Bernardo. This is in partnership with, uh, of course, spearheaded by the Research in Psychology SIG. That's 2 to 4 in the afternoon. And then we have on June 11, uh, on, that's a Thursday, uh, again, same time, 2 p.m., we have um, Psychological Statistics by Professor Arvin Bowler, uh, again, spearheaded by the Research in Psychology Special Interest Group. And then on June 15, okay, um, LGBT Psychology, How to Teach LGBT Psychology by Professor Bea Torre of uh, UP de Liman. Um, and uh, this is a, a good time to plug. Happy Pride. And uh, on June 17, we have um, Sikoluyang Pilipino by Professor Jay Yakat, um, spearheaded by Pambansang Samahan sa Sikoluyang Pilipino. And on the 19th of uh, June, same time again, we have Field Methods by Dr. Mira Ofeneo of Ateneo de Manila University, spearheaded by Research in Psychology Special Interest Group. And then on June 26, at 2 also, uh, Developmental Psychology by Professor uh, Moreno Javier, Professor Ochoa, um, again spearheaded by Developmental Psychology Special, uh, the Developmental Psychology Division. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh, so uh ibal so, direct pakibalik kami sa screen. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, again, thank you everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode. So ano mga play pa rin yung mga yay namin, pero yeah. yun nga. <laughs> So, sana, we'll, uh, you can still all join us for our next few episodes. Uh, thank you again to Ateneo Court, to Dr. Errol, to Dr. Tibis, and uh, Professor Mian Longbos. Maraming 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 salamat po. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay safe.